Welcome to the official YouTube channel of Fourternia.com. I'm your host, AJ, and today I would like to briefly show you my custom Masters of the Universe Revelation Masterverse Faker that I put together a couple days ago. Now, I'm not a master customizer of action figures. There is some great, great craftsmanship out there, creators that go as far as do customized sculpting and 3D printing of custom head and bodies. But mine here is simple in comparison, but still pretty cool, at least to me, on my shelf and something I wanted to do ever since I obtained this Masterverse figure. Now, a little revelation about me, no pun intended, but I must confess I have never been a big fan of Faker. Now, I realize that's an unpopular opinion, that Faker is pretty much cherished and beloved and adored by a great deal of Masters of the Universe fans, which is so awesome, and I have nothing but love towards each and every one of you. But for me, ever since the beginning when I was a little child, I just knew something was up with Faker. When my mother asked me if I wanted a Faker action figure, I knew something was suspicious even then. This is just a He-Man figure painted blue, you know? And it was a cheap repaint re-release. Even as a child, my small-minded sensibilities could identify that, that this felt cheap here. When my mom asked if I wanted a faker, it was like, hey, mom, what are you trying to pull here, ma? What are you trying to pull a fast one? Why would I want another He-Man that's just painted blue when I could get a different figure, a brand new different figure, one that's actually different, you know, an entirely different character with a different head and different weapons. So it's probably no surprise that the faker in Masters of the Universe Revelation turned out to be my favorite version of the character. With a metallic frame that was given a blue hue as an homage to the vintage toy, I just love this look in Revelation Episode 1. I'm not saying that Faker is my all-time favorite character now. My heart still belongs to you, Web Store buddy. But I am now a fan of Faker, and that is one of my favorite parts of Revelation Episode 1, when the sorceress breaks off Faker's limbs. Well, explodes them off, actually. And Faker sends out these robotic tentacles to retrieve them and repair his body. I just love it. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if Mattel offered severed arms and robotic tentacles with their Masterverse Deluxe Faker figure? But we didn't. Uh, instead, we got two alternate heads and a vintage-like orange armor that was really never worn in the show. So I decided to create it finally myself. So I purchased some premium sculpting armature wire from a local craft store, which can be bended. It's bendable in shapes. And I measured out a desired length, a length that I personally wanted. And then I cut two pieces of the same length with a professional tool. Then from the same craft store, I picked up a small bottle of acrylic black paint and picked up a very thin paintbrush. And then, you're probably gonna laugh at me, but I went through the painstakingly process of painting black 360 degree rings to make divider lines in the tentacles, uh, all down both armature wires, just like it appeared in the show. And yes, it was a little bit time consuming and perhaps a little crazy. Uh, a friend of mine teased me about it, but I did it. And then I went ahead and detached Faker's forearms from his biceps. Now, this can be a difficult process. Don't try it at home, kids. I won't be going into detail here, but it can get tricky to separate them where you might damage the figure or even hurt yourself. So I won't be recommending anything. This is just really a brief explanation of what I did and definitely not any kind of step-by-step -step instructional video. So once the arms were separated, I painted some extra burn marks with more of that black acrylic paint, but I thinned the paint first. And then I used some additional metal colored acrylic paint to add additional metal appearances to the areas where the arms were severed. 
Then I looped in the severed forearms onto the armature wire. I just pushed the armature wire through their hoops. These, these hoops, these loops were already built into the forearms due to Faker's inner plastic joints. And I would push the armature wire through and then those ends of the wire into Faker's biceps and presto, the customization was all done. So that's it, guys. I hope you had fun looking at my customized Masterverse Revelation Faker. If you enjoyed this video, please support it by giving it a like, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. And comment below. I love hearing the feedback. So thanks for watching all. Once again, this is AJ, and we'll see you next time.